White Rug 85 here, down at the Dogfish Brewery in Milton, Delaware. Going to pick up a case of Slightly Mighty, the light IPA that they just came out with. Actually, it's just being released today, uh, March 29th. So I'm here to, to pick a case up and uh, take it back to the house, put it on ice. Beautiful day today, going to be in the 70s. So we'll do a review this afternoon on the deck. Slightly mighty on ice for a few hours now, so it should be good and cold. A little bit about it, 95 calories, 3.6 carbs, and the ABV is 4.0. It's a tad on the low side, but really, uh, if you're looking at Michelob Ultra, which I do have back here, uh, that's 95 calories, 2.6 carbs, so a carb less or so, and the ABV uh, just a tad higher, like 4.2, something like that. So, you know, when you drink these, you're not really you're looking for, uh, you know, a high alcohol content. That's going to drive it way up. So, you know, light beer, that's that's certainly uh, the norm for, for light beer. Behind me, I have a couple of my, some of my favorites from Dogfish here. Flesh and Blood, 60-minute IPA, 90-minute IPA. And my favorite, this I think this is my favorite beer, and this is the Liquid Truth Serum. Uh, this is the a ABV on that is seven and a half. Now I really, I really like that Liquid Truth Serum out of all of them. And in case you think that well, oh, you got all these dogfish behind you, you just love it. Uh, there's some I don't like, and these are IPAs. A dogfish has a giant lineup of beers and many different styles. But like the 75 minute IPA with the maple syrup, don't like it. The American Beauty, I think it has oatmeal as one of the ingredients, don't like it. Uh, the Perfect Disguise, uh, again an IPA, don't like that one that much either. So uh, we'll give this a fair shot. And again, when I usually go for a light beer, I usually go for Mick Ultra. But uh, here we have the Slightly Mighty. I think this is one of the first basic IPAs that are that are coming out to try to do a, a light beer. So uh, have it on ice over here. And let's crack this open. Are you gonna stay here while I do this? Yes, you are. Let's pour it in. Nice. There we go. Yeah, a good a good smell from it. A little bit about it. Uh, reducing the malt bill uh, reduces the sweetness of the beer. Kind of brings that malt level down a little bit. But they bring it back up with monk fruit. And that's a tropical fruit. Uh, and that's, uh, if, in case you're like a low-cal person or a keto person, uh, or a low carb person. Uh, that's one of the things they use for sugar substitutes. So uh, here it is, nice head on it. Uh, yeah, comparable to, to what a 60 looks like when I kind of pour it in the glass. Maybe a little bit lighter, a little bit clearer. Again, a good nose. You're not getting that bead in the nose with hops, but that's okay, uh, especially for what it is. I have to say, it's got a real good taste to it. Certainly reminds you of an IPA. 
compared to Ultra, which I know is a lager, but uh, it certainly has that, that, I don't know if you want to call it the sweetness, uh, a little bit of the bitterness, sweetness combination, the hops uh, that a nice IPA has. Sitting, sitting pretty good on the palate. I'm kind of waiting for a little bit of an aftertaste and we'll, we'll see what we get. They say it uh, has some tropical notes, pineapple, coconut, mango, citrus. Uh, I really get that out of the flesh and blood. Now that's kind of my citrus go-to beer. Blood orange is in there. Again, the, uh, the 60, you know, that smashes you with the hops. Same thing with the 90. Again, if you haven't tried, Liquid Truth Serum. Uh, this is definitely my favorite. It's really, it's just, I think it's that post boil with your hops in there. And uh, it really, that that is definitely my favorite. I, I look for that one every time and I, I usually get the 16 ounces uh, in that. Leaving, leaving a nice, little bit of the head on the glass as it sinks down a little bit and then with the ultras it just you don't get anything you don't really get a good head off of those at all again different kind of beer but again for for what it is again it's a low cal ipa you're not going to get smashed with the hops but it's certainly a little bit more enjoyable i think than drinking the Michelob ultra uh, am i going to stop drinking mick ultra probably not uh, one of the reasons price point went down today, got the case, $40 for a case, 24 12 ounce cans. Of course, if you know your Michelobes, you can get that 30 for about what, 22, 23, 24, depending on where you're at. Uh, so there's a big price difference. Now this was, I went down to the brewery, didn't get to the liquor store, maybe with some kind of sale or promotion or something like that. But uh, certainly price point, twice as expensive or so just because you usually get 30 cans in a in a mick ultra for about 24 dollars um, so it uh, it is very enjoyable certainly going to have this up at the cabin for the spring trip uh that's uh about uh, a couple months away what are we going on to or april 1st uh, about a month or so away i guess i shouldn't say two two months about a month or so away definitely going to be having this as our either wind up or wind down uh beer of choice and uh, probably have some other fish along with me but uh for a half a glass or so of enjoying it and again if it if i didn't enjoy it i really would tell you I told you I didn't enjoy the 75, the American Beauty, the Perfect Disguise, uh, so I'd certainly be honest about this too. As you get a little bit farther down in the glass, still tasting good. Again, it, it's you're not gonna, it's not gonna be like opening up a 60 minute and drinking that down and think it's gonna be the exact same thing. But is it very good, very enjoyable? Absolutely. Uh, again, I'm, I am going to continue to drink this. And with the 95 calories, I think dogfish when it's in a 12 ounce, this is the 19, but it's 230, I think. So twice as much and the, the carbs are way up into like 23 carbs. So you sit there, you, you have four or five of those things and, and you're way, uh, you're way out of line with your carbs for the day. If you're a, you're a low carb or a low cal keto type person so I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this on the deck maybe George will come back and visit me for a few more minutes and, uh, and just have a great day so uh, I'll see you in a little bit for some maybe some turkey hunting or a cabin video in a little bit this is White Rook 85 sitting here with a new dogfish head slightly mighty that was just released today and this is March 29th and uh, I'm going to sit here 70 degrees out, beautiful afternoon, just going to enjoy it. So I'll catch you next time.